Hello everyone, this is Sharmin Khan from Milky Way Art Design. Welcome to my garage. So today my goal is to create some smaller pieces. These are uh, little tiles which is which are um, between 6 and 8 inches um, in length. So what I'm doing is I'm going to create some little um, pieces because I have a little um, uh, craft and art show coming up so these are uh, some quick sell items i like to have both bigger and smaller pieces in my um booth so here we go the first color i started with is triarts uh, transparent red oxide even though uh, it's a darker color since it's transparent so it should work fine for my first coat and after that i am using porosporin um from tlp and then goes the indian yellow which is also from triart then i am adding some gold from uh, mustard arm rich gold and after that will be my Jenkins green and we'll finish it up with TLP's Asperger's. Today I am using only one cell activator which is carbon black from Amsterdam and which is mixed with um, Australian Floetrol. Today I tried to keep most of my paints pretty thick because I think that that will uh, that way I have very um, defined cells. Today my blower is in cool setting and medium speed. I'm kind of loving the combination of the colors. It's really cool. I have made some blooms which are just straight um bloom which is of course beautiful but this one i'm thinking of doing some modification so wait for a second so with this skewer i am just kind of swirling the bloom and then i'm gonna spin Such a soft and soothing piece. I'm loving it. I am kind of liking this black solid cell activator that did not give me any cells actually it looks cool so yeah it's a keeper I am going to do another piece today when you do arts and crafts show it's always a great idea to have uh, many different sizes as well as shapes of art available to sell in your booth that way you can attract many different uh, mindset or many different tastes people 
to your booth and once they are in your booth they can also buy some other arts from you so this is a i think it's a seven inch diameter a hexagon so let's start and i'm starting with jenkins green on this one the Jenkins green is from Golden and I picked that color for my first layer because it's a transparent color even though it's darker, it doesn't matter. As long as it's transparent, um, it should be fine. And then I layered the asparagus oh, from no. TLP and after that it's, um, I think I used gold, pearlescent blue and then Indian yellow. That's how I layered it. On top of it I'm layering Tri Arts Transparent Burnt Red and after that right before the cell activator I'm using TLP Postpone. Um, the combination that I'm using it's kind of new to me but I'm loving the result. Let's see how this one turns out. Uh -huh. see my I should have diluted this in Josonia since I did not do that see I'm getting all those Ooh, I don't like it let's not do that what happened was when I mixed the postpone which is the TLP color I did not mix any Josonia into that so what happened was um, I did not uh, mix or disperse the pigment very well. So when I blew it, everything was fine, but the porcupine was kind of like grainy. So I'm redo it again. I spent some time mixing my porcupine from TLP and now I'm going to start with this one. Gold. Transparent red oxide. Pearl blue. Indian yellow. Jenkins green asparagus black cell activator Colors look so pale, I don't know why. Let's try one more time.
let's start with the Indian yellow. Sometimes basic um, bloom will also give you a hard time. I think my green is not playing, uh, the Jenkins green is not playing very nice to me, so I'm not going to use that for now. Let's see how does this turn out. okay so now looking at this one i am loving the vibrant color that it gave me if you compare with the previous two this is really vibrant however in the center i have a humongous black spot so i'm thinking i'm going to use a straw and if i can um, make some cells on the black area that would be awesome so this is a quick fix idea with a straw you can blow on the cell activator and you can thin down your cell activator and that way you can create some cells the way the pattern is in the center i'm thinking if i could mod modify it a little that would be even cooler so let's try some I still have a little bit of black patchy area. I'm just trying to blow some more on that little patch if I can create some more bubbles. So far, I'm not getting any cell there. So with my finger, if I dab my finger on that area, probably I can um take off some cell activator from there probably that will help me now i run into a different problem with uh, my finger when i was trying to take off some cells some of my base coat showed up so i'm going to use the green stick to put some extra green paint over there to hide my cell activator which is not cell activator my base coat which is white Adding some more swirl. Oh, 
what do you think guys i'm liking it i'm loving it actually not liking it i'm loving it gave me some hard time but cannot blame it now let's look at some quick snaps and look at those details it's so much going on there it's going to be a really pretty piece now this is the dried result and look at this how gorgeous this is by the way i did not edit this video it's just exactly how it looks in person so it's so vibrant that's what i was looking for a vibrancy and also a lot of interest look at the swirls they turned out really pretty and the center they are so beautiful so look at this little piece area remember i had to patch with green color a little so what i did was i took a black marker and do these lines so it looks like more more like cell cells so yeah that's the only modification i did after it dried other than that there we go thank you so much for joining me today so if you like my video please please hit the like button and make some comments and uh, share my videos and subscribe to my channel until next time bye